Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today we are going to be talking about the ratings for the latest episode of Batwoman, as we usually do. Now, the main point of this video isn't even to talk about the ratings for Batwoman, because you guys already know the ratings are terrible. Because as you can see right here, the newest ratings are in for episode 10. Now, as you can see, there's only three episodes left. And the ratings for this episode are at 0.484. Now, yes, you can see it has gone up a little bit from the last episode, but the demographic is still the same. Now, while it may look like it's good for some people, but again, if you actually look into it, these ratings are still bad. These are still terrible ratings. These aren't good. Don't get it confused. Yes, it, got, it did go up by about 11%, but these ratings are still terrible. Don't, don't get that confused. These, these ratings, again, show that people are still not interested in watching your show. Now, I don't know what it is that caused people to want to come back to, to want to tune in to watch the, uh, the latest episode. But I get the feeling it probably has something to do with the fact that, you know, they keep putting out the marketing of, oh, K. Kane is coming back or, or whatever the fuck. So people keep tuning in to probably check to see whether or not that's true. Now, I'm willing to bet that's probably what happened with episodes eight and seven, because I think that's when the news of K. Kane coming back first started surfacing. People tuned in to see whether or not it's true. But they found out that's not true, and then again, the ratings dropped, and then the ratings dropped even lower than the week after that. And then, as you can see a little bit higher, I think news again started coming up of, you know, KK possibly coming back. So people tuned in, and I'm willing to bet that they probably was were reminded of how terrible the show was. And I have no doubt that the ratings are going to drop even more in the next episode, unless they come out with something in the marketing to get people to tune in so the ratings won't drop as much next week. But that's not, again, the main focus of this video. I want to turn the main focus of this video to Superman and Lois. Now, I sort of promised you guys that I was going to give you guys my thoughts of Superman and Lois or specifically the first five episodes because it went on hiatus and it won't be back until, as you can see, the 18th of May. Now, let me just make something clear before I get into my review. I'm not going to go into full details of what happens in the episode because there is no way in hell I want to spoil this because I do think that you should go watch this show or at least the first five episodes because, dude, they are good. They are really, really good. These five episodes were very very good specifically the thing that they did that i like the most are the characters now for me the characters are the most important part of any show in order for me to enjoy the show i have to love the characters like for me the show could be well written but if i don't like the characters then it's just not going to interest me because why would i tune in every week to see characters that i don't like now whether they're underdeveloped or they're just badly written doesn't matter the fact is if I don't like the characters, I just can't enjoy the show. But the thing is, in Superman and Lois, while the writing overall, when it comes to the actual story, yes, there are some things that you could probably fix up. But for me, I just, I, I, I love the characters. I really do. I love how they wrote Superman. I love how they wrote Lois. And the thing that impressed me the most, the thing that I'm so happy to be wrong about, is how they wrote the teenagers, the two teenage sons. Now, when I first saw the marketing for the show and the fact that Superman was going to have two teenage kids, I was really, really worried that they were probably going to be the worst part of the show. I thought they were going to be so annoying. And in some instances, they are. But for me, what makes it work is that I, when I think of them, I, I realize that they're acting like actual teenagers. Like, they actually act like how I expect a teenager would. And sometimes, look, anyone who's a teenager can attest to this. Sometimes teenagers can be really fucking annoying. I mean, hell, I, I know I wasn't, uh, you know, all that pleasant to be around when I was a teenager. So, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, you, you're still going to have your friends, of course. You're still going to have some people who can talk, who, you know, accept you for your flaws, which is always fantastic. But overall, most people are, yeah, I tend to see the flaws. But for me, I, I really do like the um, I, I do like the sons. Again, whenever they tend to get on my nerves a little bit in the show, I just remember that oh, they're just acting like teenagers, and usually that ends up fixing it. But for me, something else that they did that I absolutely loved, and something that they, I was really hoping that they weren't going to do, 
which is they actually or actually something I was hoping that they would do and what they uh, because this is CW what I was afraid they were gonna do thankfully they didn't end up doing which is the fact that they made Superman look stupid and what I mean by that is Superman actually feels like Superman and that is the fact that when he goes out, dude, Superman kicks ass and Superman actually acts like Superman. And one thing that I have hated about the CW's portrayal of Superman is that they have constantly taken every opportunity to make him look like a bitch. Seriously, go back and look at season two of Supergirl. Go back and look at whenever Superman made an appearance in the CW, in the Arrowverse, they always made him look like a bitch and it fucking sucked. Like that is just blatant disrespect to the Superman character. And in this show, they actually fixed that. They actually had Superman act like Superman. The one exception I would say is that in the first episode, they did kind of have him get his ass kicked by who? Someone who looked like it was going to be the main villain. But I think that they probably did that because they wanted to establish this guy as being an actual threat to Superman. But thankfully, in the later episodes, they absolutely fixed that. Like, the next time he fights him, he does kick his ass, but they do kind of diminish that the value of that victory because it turns out the, the actual guy wasn't in the suit. He was just re controlling it remotely. And that's that's pretty much, excuse me, that's pretty much the only sort of deep spoilers that I'll give. I won't go into any other details, but except for one, then ju just use it as an example of how they are treating Superman right. Which is, in one episode, I won't say which, but he gets into a fight with another superpowered being. And it does look like they were going to do what I was afraid they were going to do, which is to make Superman look like, again, a bitch. But, and they did that by sort of having him, you know, sort of lose to this character. But, to, but they made it look like Superman wasn't really taking this guy seriously because he thought that he was probably just a regular human. And we all know that Superman likes to hold back constantly because... You know, he he is pretty strong and he has to constantly hold back his strength. But when it turns out that this guy is a superpower being and he actually can take it, that's when Superman does take it a little bit more seriously and he ends up kicking the guy's ass. And I fucking loved that scene. It was fucking beautiful, man. I just, I love this. Seriously, I can't believe this is coming from a CW show. And one thing they did in the premiere, and I think you've probably already seen this, was they paid homage to a certain version of Superman and I honestly never thought I would ever see that version of Superman or at least that costume you know in live action but we did see it it was only for like a little bit but I absolutely loved it it was fucking beautiful and it's just yeah I, I, I could not tell you how much I absolutely loved it and again uh, I don't think I could go into anything else without giving you guys a lot of spoilers. But yes, just overall, I do think this is a very, very good show. I do think you should watch it, at least the first five episodes. It's great. I highly recommend you go watch it. And as you can see from the ratings, and uh, you're probably wondering, wondering why I have the ratings up, just to show you that like the show is getting consistent ratings. Like it is The fact that the first season is doing better than even the first season of Batwoman should tell you something now i don't know how it's going to be when the show eventually comes back for all i know they could completely pull the rug out rug out from under us and just go full-on cw woke i honestly wouldn't be surprised but if i'm being honest like you could just watch the first five episodes and w when the sixth episode comes back i will watch it and i will do a review on that just to let you guys know that okay guys it's safe they still haven't done it you can come back but if they have done, if they have done it, if they have gone full blown woke, I will let you guys know ahead of time so you don't have to bother wasting your time with watching these six episode. But I think I've said everything I wanted to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did watch Superman and Lois, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Did you like it? Did you love it? What are your thoughts? Let me know all of that in the comment section down below. And if you like this video and if you want to see more from me, remember to click on the like button, share this video on whatever social media platform you use, subscribe to my channel, and remember to click on the bell icon to let you know whenever I post a brand new video. With that being said, I'm going to end it right here. Thank you so much for listening as always. And remember to stay safe and take care of yourselves. And please join me for my next video. Bye for now.